thequirkyjourneyonthecouch.com, streaming wellness into your lives. You're listening to A Quirky Journey, the healthy family podcast with your hosts, Joe Witten and Fuad Kassab. Hello and welcome to A Quirky Journey. Hello. How's everyone going out there? Yeah. No, no answer. No answer. No, people aren't listening. I hope you're listening. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Fuad in Sydney, and um, we're going to tell you a bit about what we've been up to. So we've got exciting things happening here. So you, you've been globe trotting. I've been globe trotting. Tell us where where you've been, what you've been up to. Oh, so Isaac and I have been to Adelaide to speak on gut health. <laughs> And um, Isaac did an amazing job speaking to a room full of people about his journey and um, healing from anxiety and depression and OCD and what it's like for a teenager to have um, trouble with anxiety and what helped. And um, there was lots of um, parents there that were really touched by his story and um, asked that we would also do a video with him so that we could put it up on his YouTube channel for kids to listen to and watch. Um, so we're going to do that soon. Um, then we flew up to Sydney and we've been here for a few days working on photo shoot for the cookbook as well as planning and yeah, we'll, we'll wow. tell you some of the exciting stuff that we've been so much organizing. Happening. It's been so exciting. It's been cool seeing the emails coming in about Isaac. Yeah, all these people has. are just uh, touching uh, base with Joe and saying thank you for sharing Isaac's story. And uh, it's been quite mm. awesome. Like some, I love this woman who said something like, "I've, I found it hard for me to put my hand up and ask a question yeah. in, in the audience." And there was Isaac in front of 150 people, <laughs> actually giving uh, a, a speech after he was uh, a year ago. He couldn't get into a lift. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's amazing that kind of transformation. This is the kind of stuff that we love hearing, and we know yeah. that you guys also want to to hear about because you know healing through food is a such a powerful thing and a life uh, changing experience. Mm. And um, yeah, it's all happening for us down down this path. So we're writing this cookbook to talk yeah. exactly about that. So and, and just hearing the stories of people who like people who've started the gut health program, started GAPS and in within one or two weeks are already seeing changes just like we did. Um, you know, sleep patterns improving, kids' behavior improving, um, kids eating more vegetables and more foods that they'd never eaten before. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, skin rashes. It, it's just amazing to see. I mean, I know... Skin when rashes disappearing. Disappearing, sorry. Yeah. No, sorry, I didn't finish what I was saying. Yeah. Not skin, skin rashes, rashes disappearing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vomiting. Uh, no, but it's, it's just so good because, you know, it, it worked for us and you kind of, you know that everybody's different and that different things help different people, but you also know that so many people have been helped by just a traditional diet with really nourishing foods and that's what we're trying to share because we've seen such big changes in our own families and it's just exciting to see the changes happening around us and there's been a lot of great feedback. Well, you know, one of the best things that have happened in the past few weeks, well, how long has it been, the GAPS program? How long has that been? Um, online? Since the end of May. End of May. And mm. now we've reached a thousand people, a thousand yeah, subscribers. A thousand members. And that's, uh, that's a huge milestone for yeah. uh, Quirky Cooking and the Gut Health program. Mm. And we have a thriving community of people who are trying to heal their gut and they're sharing their stories and their successes. And in their support group. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's been so many amazing oh. stories from people. And yeah. It's just wonderful to see that, you know, the thing that has worked for you is also working for everyone else. Else and yeah. those who of you who are actually putting in the effort and the time to look after your own health and um, doing all this you know hard work with gut yeah. healing you're seeing the the results so it's really yeah it makes me it makes us so happy to see that everyone's just benefiting when they've joined and also the it's so good to see the support that everyone has for each other in in the group um i find it really lovely that you know one person will get in there and say oh i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed or i don't know what to do and this is happening with my child and everyone just jumps in and really encourages them and you know gets them excited again 
again about getting on the right path to healing and it's not um it's not the case of well you have to do things exactly like this it's more of just take what steps you can take just just do something little for now until yeah. you can go forward and it's very encouraging because i think some people just get frightened because they see they read about gaps and they say oh my goodness i could never do that but when you start taking those little steps forward and start seeing changes then you get excited and you just want to do it properly so that's what we're seeing so so the group that joe's talking about <laughs> Uh, with the gut health program that she's done, which is on gaps.quirkycooking.com.au, uh, once you join that site, you get access to the tutorials and the videos and the recipes and the meal plans and all that. <laughs> Um, and that sort of is a huge help for anyone who's starting their journey for gut health because it's quite a quite a difficult word, world to sort of break down on your own, uh, especially when you you don't have much information. Like you haven't really been researching it for all your yeah, life. You sort of come right. across it because your child's unwell or you're unwell and all of a sudden you're thrust into this world of gut healing and you don't know where to start. You need help so, straight away. So the program is really good for that. But then what comes with the program is access to a face group which is an amazing resource we've added uh, everyone who has joined the program into the facebook group and very quickly these people are just they've become like a family with each other helping yeah. each other they're answering each other's questions and supporting everyone and there's nothing like having people going through the same journey as you yeah, are people who have gone through the same journey as you have mm. to also help you stay on track and uh, clarify all these little details that you just you just get confused about yeah. so it's a very different world now of, mm. for gut healing than the one that was there five years ago yeah. like you know people are just really going to be able to to do much better and we're lucky to be living in this day and age when we can be so connected to each other and, and help get each so other much out. help yeah um it's also you know just any kind of healthy diet i remember 12 years ago when we sort of started changing our diet um there wasn't the good recipes out there as much oh, yeah. it was so bland it, everything yeah. was bland and boring and there was a lot of um the health books that i would buy um like the recipes were the sort of things that my family just wouldn't eat um, so now seeing, you know, one lady, actually, I'll just read this comment one lady left on the page. She said, what I love so much about our new way of eating is the simplicity. Thank you, Joe. My days are very busy and to have dinner in this slow cooker in the morning and on the table at 6.30 p.m. with all the family at home. What a blessing. I absolutely love to cook, have eaten a whole food diet for many years. However, watching my teenagers become less tired, less cranky, one HSC student and filled is amazing. Thank you, Joe. Um, finally, an eating plan we all love to Tonight we had slow cooked lamb dinner with veg and cauliflower and leek mash. That was a real hit. So the the recipes can be very family friendly and delicious and still simple and healing. And that's the feedback that we're getting. So that's great. Yeah, it it's it is wonderful. Know. Yeah, and uh, if you're hesitating about this, uh, don't hesitate. Just join join yeah. in and I and think, do what you can. Yeah. I mean, don't feel like you have to do everything at once. And that's that's what I just really want people to realize is that. And we're here to help you get started as well as to go full bore if that's what you want to do. Just little steps as well. Cool. So that, that's the update for the Gut Health Program. program. Yep. Um, I'll update you with what I've been doing. For the past three weeks, I've been um, busy cooking. So I've been mm. doing a lot, of, a lot of cooking. I've cooked over, what, 65 dishes <laughs> yeah. or so in the past three weeks. 65 different dishes. Because mm. um, I've been taking the them cookbook. up. Yeah, for the cookbook. Mm. So that's going to come early next year as we've been telling you but uh, there's been a lot of great advancements on that front we have teamed up with an amazing photographer some of you might know her her name is Snay Roy mm. and she uh, is from Cook Republic uh, one of Australia's mega blogs she's got a huge following on uh, the internet uh, on Instagram she's got 125,000 or so people who follow her um, because she has an amazing style for uh, shooting food mm. and uh, we love her work as well so yeah. we've been uh, going up and uh, taking all our dishes and leaving them in her capable styling hands and uh, the photos have been coming back looking amazing yeah yeah we're yeah. loving it so we're just yeah. loving the whole process the because process it's fun. it's so um so we're self-publishing and we're picking people that we just absolutely love to work with and um having a lot of fun yeah. as we go and it's so laid back instead of like all the photo shoot being done in one or two weeks it's um spread out like 
10 dishes a day for a couple of days a week. And, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's not... It's less of an intense process that yeah. happens right at the end. So the book is being written as the and recipes come out and developed. And, and, yeah, the recipes are developed and the book being written as we go. Yeah. And we're going, well, why don't we try this? And then we're getting photos of it. And it's just so much fun. Yeah, so it's progressing a bit more organically than a book otherwise would. A book that would sort of go to plan and you've got this and that. And I've got to, you know, yeah, do all really. these issues. Yeah, so we're... It's just us, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's the kind really, of the way that we... It just flows. Can, yeah. It's how we do things So we've, <laughs> organically. we've got a huge uh, appreciation for the team that mm. we've put together now. So Snay is uh, one key uh, person in this team. Mm-hmm. But uh, yesterday we had an amazing meeting oh, with so uh, a couple of designers down in the city that Snay recommended to us. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've got Evie and Daniel from Watomo New, which is um, a book design studio. These guys used to work at Lantern, which was Penguin's Penguin. insert yeah. for uh, making cookbooks. Mm-hmm. And uh, Lantern shut down and these two started on their own. And they've made some of the most beautiful cookbooks oh. in uh, the Australian market. And you, I'm sure you, you guys would be familiar with, with a, lot of yeah, them. a lot of them. Just so artistic and creative, which is, you know, a different sort of style, not just the usual cookbook style. It's yeah. just beautiful. And, uh, the kind the of book like, that you just want to have out always to which look you, at. Which you probably also do have. Uh, you like, probably do, yeah. yeah. Like we, there's uh, cookbooks from Maggie Beer. Yep. Um, they've done the... The George um, Columbaris. George Columbar- uh, Columbaris. Uh, which one is book. that? The, the latest uh, one? Greek. Greek, I yeah, think I think it that's is. the name. Yeah. Um, there's the there's a Movida cookbook. The, the T2, T2 cookbook. Uh, Thai Street Food, which is an amazing cookbook that if you haven't oh. seen, it's David Thompson's... Uh, it's gorgeous. ...home on Thai food, uh, Thai street food. It's an amazing, amazing yeah. book. If you love uh, books with lots of big photos. Yeah. Yeah, lots to look at. They've done Guillaume Brahimi's book. They've done uh, the... Um <laughs> the what's that called that book about the the, the walk to the Spanish walk the Spanish oh, yes. pilgrimage what's called a, pil- um, a food lover's guide to uh, I need to buy that book oh, I, it's I such know, a beautiful yeah, book yeah I know what you mean but I've yeah. forgotten the name yeah. I'd actually love to get uh, that book the, the compostilla book I forgot it we always yeah. have this yeah. thing that, you know yeah. uh, I'm not going to buy any more cookbooks for a while yeah. everyone says that don't they and then you start seeing these See books you're like oh I'll just yeah, get that one so, yeah <laughs> So, I'm sure we're not the only people that end up with cookbooks beside no. our beds and couches and kitchens and scattered around the house. I just there's such them. lovely things to have. I mean, it's not the same online, is it? Yeah. Well, we're not trying to create another cookbook. So uh, mm. what, what we're doing is this book is going to be one of those things that you can give to your family members, mm. which will have all these beautiful recipes and all the, um, yeah. the healthy, highly nutritious meals that you've known you know and love from Joe mm-hmm. and things that I used to cook at my Whole Foods restaurants and the yeah, food which that, everyone begged recipes for and yeah, now well, they can get they're them they're gonna come <laughs> but uh, they're, they're the foods that helped us heal and yeah. helped us come back to wellness mm. and they really are life changing recipes mm-hmm. and we want to share not only the recipes but the stories and how we came to become you know healthy. became healthy yeah, yeah. yeah. and um it's it's one of those books now like you'll be able to take that and give it to those you know those family members who are doubtful and mm-hmm. they'll they'll go like I don't want to eat that way it's too restrictive and then they'll see this book and they'll read the stories and they'll be inspired by by them and they'll also look at the recipes and they're so no, delicious just, yeah I mean you're like I want it's yeah. not it's not the kind of food that people would go oh I'm not eating that yeah what's that? Like, it's like a boiled carrot <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> twice boiled carrot not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's it's amazing food. But yeah. yeah, so in addition to that, in apart from Evie and Daniel, who Anne's name, mm-hmm. we have Karen Small, yeah. who is do, doing looking after the uh, print for the cookbook. She is um, from Small but Mighty Productions. She used to be um, one of the, uh, I think, the head of print at Murdoch Books or something like that that. Uh, and she um, Murdoch if you don't know them they they make amazing cookbooks Mm. as well they do all Jude LaRose cookbooks there you go Mm. yeah I think they do do they do um let me let me have a look. Uh, I think they. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to look. Uh, In your cookbook shelf. Yeah, but, um, 
I think they, they also make uh, the Maloof Scope books. Let me check. Are they, is that Murdoch? But Karen does no, that's how I really interesting work. I've seen some of, like, if you follow her on um, Instagram, Small But Mighty Productions, wow, she's got some beautiful books that she's done. They're the kind of things that are just collector's items. Yeah, just uh, stunning books from Murdoch. The designers from Penguin. Uh, I also have Angie Schiavoni, who used to be my editor. Um, when I used to write for the Sydney Morning Herald, um, she used to be the editor for the Good Food Under 30. And she also was a, a reviewer for the Good Food Guide with me. And mm-hmm. uh, just an amazing person with like a wealth of knowledge around food. And uh, she's got a keen eye for editing. And she's going to help us put the book together and organize it and make sure that you know you enjoy reading it as much as cooking the recipes yeah. as well with us so it's really as far as we're concerned we've got like the all-star team awesome really team yeah. oh, we're just it's having like, so much fun it's like you know we, we'll go and play the the major leagues with at the nba with these guys you know anytime so yeah it's gonna yeah. be so good you guys are just gonna love it yeah, you know really exciting and we're um, hoping to do the pre-sales in the next few weeks mm. I'm going to be busy putting together the website where you can pre-order the cookbook and um, we'll have a few different options for you to choose how to get the cookbook for yourself we, we might uh, do some tote bags or aprons yeah. with with the cookbook or you can choose the option to have the, the free delivery which we'll, we're doing only for uh, the pre-sales mm-hmm. uh, so you'll be able to save a little bit of money uh, and help us by pre get, yeah. yeah. so the way that you help us if you pre-order the cookbook it helps us actually afford to uh, cre- uh, choose better quality paper uh, to be able to add more photography into the cookbook mm. incre- increase and the amount of wants, recipes everybody wants more photos more photos recipes. yeah more <laughs> recipes and and uh, really sort of uh, put all those beautiful finishing touches that we want on the book to make it something that you can cherish as, as much as we will as well. So yeah. we, we're trying to create the best cookbook that we possibly can. And yeah. uh, really, your support will be amazing for us to be able mm. to get to that place where we can give you the best cookbook that's yeah. coming straight from us. So, yeah. yeah. What else have we got? Joe? Um, Joe's gone blank. I've gone blank. Joe's uh, jet lagged, <laughs> even though she hadn't left her time zone for some reason. I'm cold yeah, yeah. lagged. <laughs> I'm not used to the cold. Yeah, it is freezing. My brain's yeah. frozen. Yeah, so, um, so we've got that. Um, yeah, like, uh, not really much from me, but I think you want to talk to them about the episode with Dr. Fabrizio. Okay, yeah. We were going to do an episode for this week with um, Dr. Igor Trebizian, and I'm afraid I couldn't manage to get it done because I was traveling and um, we were going crazy getting things done for the – no, not going crazy, but we were – Um, very busily making recipes for the photo shoot and getting them together. So I'll try and get that done for the fortnight away for the next podcast. And um, we'll we'll get Dr. Igor on to talk about um, nutrition, especially for people who are vegetarians and need to heal the gut but don't want to do the GAPS diet um, because that's a question I've been getting a lot and we'll also get him to talk about um, the book that he's written to help people, um, especially people with a thermomics, um, to get really good nutrition into the recipes that they're cooking with their thermomics. Um, and we've got some other things that we want to ask him. So if you do have any questions for Dr. Igor, maybe um, put them onto our Facebook page or in the chat group and just let us know and um, we'll, we'll ask him as many as we can as we can fit into the time um, for next for the next podcast so sorry about that for not getting it done this week but as you can see I've been traveling all over the place and trying to get everything finished so right. yeah now yeah. we're on the school holidays and hope you're all or we I think most of Australia would be school holidays either not next sure, week yeah. or next week yeah. yeah Queensland's had one week already and um, we've been away for that. So. so enjoy your time off. Yeah, hope you get some time off. Um, get out in nature despite the cold. Yeah, I think it's going to snow sometime this weekend. I heard up in uh, Bathurst. Really? Yeah, so I might wow. take the kids out. That's exciting. 
It's a bit nerve wracking. Yeah. Think about like a two hour trip with, the, with those oh, kids. Oh, yeah. And then, then they'll jump in the snow and they go all around and then they'll be exhausted. Five by the time. <laughs> and then I always last about five minutes in the snow. And they're they like, okay, it, yeah. that's it. Where's the heater? Where's yeah. the fire? <laughs> cool. I think I'm best in far north Queensland. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I'll, I'll come up and see you then next okay, month or two good, to get good. some photo shooting happening. Classes. We need to Oh, yeah, the cooking the classes. classes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. So we're almost, uh, we, we fully sold out for the Friday evening class. Mm-hmm. We've got 10 spots left. Uh, this is for, Sydney, by the for, way. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's, shall I rewind? Yes, rewind. Okay. On the 28th and 29th of this month of July, mm-hmm. we have two cooking classes uh, for the Sydney folk. <laughs> Uh, the 28th, the evening of the 28th, which is a Thursday, um, and lunchtime on Friday, the 29th. And it's at the Sydney Seafood School, which is in uh, the seafood market uh, in Piermont. And it's uh, what we're doing is a class where we teach you in the auditorium how to cook certain recipes, a bunch of uh, whole food recipes, and then we'll move together to the cooking area and we'll split into groups where we will cook the recipes together and uh, basically chew the the whole grass-fed fat. fat thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, basically... Um, be chatting and talking about food and cooking at the same time and then we'll take all the food that we've cooked and move it to the dinner area and sit down and just eat together and have a, a, a quirky quirky feast <laughs> and, and a good chat yeah and um so there's spots left on the thursday that's almost run out there's only 10 spots left uh friday lunch uh, there's a, a lot of spots so we'd love uh, for you to join us and we'd love to meet you in person and say hello and and have you, um, you know, just see the community in person that we're dealing with. Um, and for those of you who have kids at school, there will be, um, it'll all be done before school pick-up time. It'll be, um, what time does it start, 11? Or? Yeah, I think 11. Yeah, 11, start, yeah. and we'll be done like... No, it starts before that, doesn't it? Then? We better I'll have check a look. out. Yeah. <laughs> we better check our own classes. Not, but yeah. we we purposely made it so that you'd be out of there, um, you know, a good hour before school pick up. So it should be fine. Um, we we are planning on doing these classes in other areas as well. We're just looking at a place for Melbourne for September, and. Um, but we still doing Far North Queensland sometime. We're gonna do a, all of them. Yeah. We're gonna do the ev- every state, every city that we can go to. Yeah. At the moment, our main focus is getting the books sort of together before we do too many classes. But then, yeah, yeah once that's underway, we can fit a lot more in. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for uh, future news ar- around the book, and um, we'd love your support for the yeah. pre-sales and tell your friends and family to uh, buy the book out. with us yeah. <laughs> and, and support us create the best cookbook that we possibly can. And yeah. also in the future, we hope to see you at our cooking classes and yeah. meet you in person. And if you missed the video of the um, the crazy live video, <laughs> well, we had a live video on the quirky cooking. Facebook page the other day um, during the photo shoot, Fuad was was uh, mucking around and taking videos with yeah. Isaac, and um, I was sensibly helping Snay. Joe was pouring sauce over the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only sensible one. Me and Snay were sensible, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it was it was a lot of fun. So have a look at that. That's on the Quirky Cooking page. Um, but we'll we'll we really want to include you guys in what we're doing, and it's it's a community thing. It's um you know it's not us doing something and then selling it to you it's all of us working together on this we feel it's something that we we can do together so give us your feedback tell us the kind of things you want um we'll do live videos and you can answer ask questions and um, we are posting a lot of photos on instagram as we go and some on facebook just so that you can see what we're um doing with the book so it's going to be lots of fun yeah Mm. so exciting yeah and the feedback around the photos has been amazing so far as well beautiful photos (laughs) cool so um i think we'll finish it off there high five high five (laughs) <laughs> we're just going to get back to work here because I've got to go home to Far North Queensland this afternoon. So we thought we'd just do a quick catch up with you guys and then a proper podcast next in a fortnight's time. So thanks so much for hanging around. See you guys later. See you later. 
This has been a production of thewellnesscouch.com. Check us out on Facebook and join in the conversation on facebook.com forward slash thewellnesscouch. Subscribe to each show on iTunes and check us out on Twitter. The Wellness Couch, streaming wellness into your lives. Whilst the Wellness Couch presenter endeavor to provide accurate and helpful information to their listeners, these podcasts cannot take into account individual circumstances and are not intended to be a substitute for health and medical advice from a qualified health professional. You should always seek the advice of a qualified health professional before acting on any of the information provided by any of the Wellness Couch podcasts.